the first impression of a hump-head rasa is sheer enormity. It glides across the reef like a living submarine, its thick forehead ridged into a pronounced hump, lips swollen and rubbery as if sculpted by caricature. Its body can stretch to lengths of over two meters, scales gleaming in greens and blues that shimmer with subtle iridescence under the water's filtered light. Divers often pause in awe when one appears, for there is nothing delicate about this creature. It seems almost prehistoric, a relic of an older ocean, massive and deliberate in its movements. Yet despite its bulk and ponderous appearance, the humphead rasa is not simply a giant fish. It is one of the reef's most important guardians, a security detail patrolling the delicate architecture of corals. Reefs are crowded ecosystems, and with so many mouths competing for survival, the balance can shift quickly. Left unchecked, Crown of Thorn starfish can consume live coral at terrifying rates, their spiny bodies leaving behind bare skeletons that bleach under the sun. Toxic boxfish release chemical plumes that can poison entire schools of fish. Sea hares, oversized relatives of slugs, graze destructively, leaving scars on fragile coral tissue. Most reef dwellers avoid these creatures. They are either too venomous, too spiny, or simply too foul-tasting to risk. But the humphead rasa specializes in doing what few others can. It hunts the unhuntable. With thick, fleshy lips to shield against spines and toxic mucus, and powerful pharyngeal teeth buried in its throat, it crushes armored prey with ease. One decisive bite can dismantle a starfish, while boxfish venom that would kill another fish barely slows it down. In this sense, the humphead rasa is more than predator. It is insurance. By consuming species that threaten corals, it helps maintain the very architecture on which thousands of other reef organisms depend. The method is brutal, yet precise. A crown of thorns starfish clinging to coral with its battery of venomous spines becomes a target, and the rasa approaches slowly, lips protruding like shock absorbers. With a sudden thrust, it grips the starfish, ignoring spines that would pierce the skin of lesser fish. Once inside its mouth, the pharyngeal teeth, bony plates designed for crushing, go to work. They grind the spiny body into digestible fragments, neutralizing a predator that might otherwise strip meters of reef in days. For the reef, this act of predation is an act of salvation. The humphead rasa is not protecting corals out of benevolence, but the result is the same. The reef remains intact because its largest guardian chooses to feed on coral's enemies. Its ecological role becomes clearer when reefs lose this species. In areas where humphead wrasses have been overfished for luxury markets or removed by habitat decline, outbreaks of crown of thorns starfish surge. The coral cover diminishes, entire ecosystems collapse, and what was once a fortress of biodiversity becomes a wasteland of algae-coated skeletons. Few predators can step into the wrasses' role. Reef sharks hunt in open water, snappers and groupers target fish, but the job of crushing starfish, toxic fish and shelled invertebrates belongs almost solely to this bulky reef guardian. Remove it and you pull out a keystone of the ecosystem's defense. Yet its importance does not end at diet. The humphead rasa carries one of the strangest life histories in the ocean. It changes sex. Born most often as females, many live their early years feeding and growing within reef networks. Then, as populations shift or males disappear, certain females undergo a transformation. Their hormones flip, their ovaries regress, and testes develop. They change color, often becoming more vibrant, and eventually dominate as males, defending territories and breeding rights. This process, known as protogenous hermaphroditism, means that populations hinge not on how many fish are born male, but on whether enough survive to grow large enough to make the transition. The implications are profound. Coral reefs are healthier where humphead wrasses remain in strong numbers, but the survival of those reefs also depends on whether populations still have their kings, the giant males that anchor breeding groups. Remove too many large individuals and the chain breaks. Without enough dominant males, reproduction falters. Without reproduction, the guardians decline. Without guardians, coral enemies expand unchecked. In this sense, the humphead rasa is not just another reef fish. It is a monarchy system, 
a biological kingship where the security of corals depends directly on whether the seagents still rule the reefs. Life for a humphead rasa is long, far longer than most reef fish. Individuals can live for more than 30 years, patrolling the same coral networks for decades, returning to favored resting ledges and feeding grounds with a memory that stretches across generations of coral growth. This longevity compounds their ecological role. A single rasse can consume thousands of coral predators across its lifespan, its repeated patrols helping to keep outbreaks suppressed. But that same longevity makes them vulnerable. Slow to mature, and slower still to replace themselves, their populations cannot bounce back quickly from over-harvesting. For every giant removed, decades of ecological security vanish in a single catch. Observing one in its element reveals the contradiction of its existence. It moves slowly, almost lazily, lips brushing over coral as if grazing gently. But when it finds a sea hare or a starfish, the transformation is sudden, a thrust forward, lips sealing, throat teeth grinding, and within seconds the threat is gone. Nearby fish resume their routines, the reef carries on, and the wrasse moves to the next patrol. To divers, its sheer size is intimidating, yet its demeanor is calm, almost curious. It seems to recognize divers as neither threat nor prey, approaching close enough to study them with large, intelligent eyes. This behavior makes it both beloved among ecotourists and tragically targeted in trade, for its rarity and beauty fetch high prices in live markets. From an evolutionary perspective, the humphead rasse embodies specialization at scale. It has become the reef's blunt instrument, its thick lips and crushing jaws perfectly suited for jobs no other fish dares attempt. It has also become a genetic gambler, with its reproductive system tuned to environmental conditions and social hierarchies. This combination, unique diet and flexible sex change, makes it one of the most unusual vertebrates on the reef, a predator tied intimately not just to what it eats, but to the very fate of coral communities. The Anthropocene has not been kind to this guardian. Declared endangered due to overfishing, its numbers have plummeted across much of its range. In places where it was once common, reefs now suffer repeated outbreaks of coral predators. Where it survives, coral ecosystems prove more resilient. Protecting the Rus, then, is not only about saving a species. It is about preserving the reef's immune system, the quiet security detail that holds back destructive forces. The story of the humphead Rasa is thus more than biology. It is an ecological drama where the survival of entire reef systems hinges on whether these giants continue to swim. With every patrol, they crush the spined invaders, neutralize toxic intruders, and hold the line for corals that cannot defend themselves. And with every year they live, they carry the reef's fortunes forward, ensuring that when a female transforms into a king, the monarchy of protection continues. The reef's resilience is written in their thick lips, their grinding throats, and their ability to turn sex itself into a tool for ecological survival. In the end, the humphead rasa reminds us that not all guardians are fast or sleek. Some are massive, deliberate, and improbably shaped, wearing swollen lips and a forehead hump-like armor. But within those strange features lies the power to preserve entire ecosystems. It is not just a fish. It is the reef's insurance policy, its monarchy, and its security force. An irreplaceable defender in an ocean where balance can collapse in an instant.